My name is Annalisa Wall. I am 25 years old and I am a full-time performer and musical theater artist out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and Charlotte, North Carolina. But my journey begins with the Boys and Girls Club in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Um, I joined the Boys and Girls Club at about 10 years old. Um, at the time I had been heavy into classical music. Um, I had a voice early on so I did a lot of like opera competitions and you know classical competitions. Um, and when I went to middle school, there wasn't really a after-school program or anything like that. We had a fairly new middle school. So I joined the Boys and Girls Club because I was um, very interested in their arts after-school programs. And then in, um, I think, 2007, I did the um, Icon Competition, which was specifically designed to help kids within the Boys and Girls Club who had, who were more artistically inclined, um, kind of help them with a scholarship and, and help them get out there. Um, I did in fact perform at the Kennedy Center for the first time because of the Icon Competition. And after going through many, many rounds, um, I eventually uh, ended up being one of the five uh, winners at the end. And when that was all said and done, um, I remember um, mingling into the audience uh, at, at the Kennedy Center and I was approached by a man named Mr. Tony Small. Tony approached me and said, I would like you to join this group that I'm forming um, with a bunch of Boys and Girls Club kids to um, embark on some sort of musical Ed, 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 musical education and the I think probably like the next week or so um, I walked into uh, the doors I do think it was might have been Clubhouse 14 um, in the greater Washington area um, and I was greeted by so many so many new faces so many new individuals immediately uh, I was very taken aback because the music and the way of approaching music and the and the community that uh, Tony had established already was way different than anything I had experienced before. As I said before, previously all I had done was opera competitions. I had been classically trained, um, so being thrown into a world that was heavily influenced by pop, R&B, and jazz was was eye-opening for me and it really challenged me to kind of embrace these new styles and these new te techniques of music. Um, and I, one thing I will remember is the, the first impression was a very, very good one <laughs> that, that, was, that was made. Um, these kids were unlike talent I had ever seen before. Um, just the way that they could pick up a piece of music and change that piece of music and learn notes on the fly and just kind of ebb and flow with each other it was more of a community rather than like a very structured um, kind of system that I had been used to previously. And little did I know, but that began a uh, very, very long and amazing relationship with the Boys and Girls Club. That group later ended up being known as TAP, which is Teen Arts Performers. There were about five or six, I like to say like key members, <laughs> um, but that, that no those numbers did ebb and flow depending on the music that Tony was using or the, or the event that we were uh, being asked to perform at. Now this group um, ended up becoming a camp, uh, a musical educational camp, where we ended up marrying with Juilliard and um, would work on some of Tony's works there as well. Um, and this really, really gave the kids an opportunity to um, co-mingle and just really have fun and kind of release their own musical inclinations that they might not have access to otherwise. Um, and especially from these 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 great teachers that that we were able to to work with. <laughs> musical that I ever did with him was called Shine Through um, and I ended up performing that multiple times. While we were working on um, Shine Through, I was given the opportunity to go um, with him to the BMI project in New York, um, which is basically where, you know, composers and whatnot get, um, get a chance to sit in front of um, some Broadway <laughs> legends um, and get their work critiqued and, and work chopped. And I was uh, chosen by Tony to um, be one of the, the kids that went up there. Um, able to meet some incredible, incredible people uh, when we were up there um, and just kind of hear the feedback from them. Um, and it really just kind of pushed me into more of a diverse musical theater direction, I think, <laughs> than, than before. Um, and I'm going to show you a clip right now. <laughs>
that show when I was about 13 or so. Um, and once again, Tony's music really challenged me to break out of my comfort zone and really um, kind of approach the music in such a, in, in, in a much less rigid way, much less classical way. Um, and I, I really embrace that. I, I embrace the new types of music. I embrace the, you know, different styles that he had. Um, and we were able to go on and perform that show or selections of that show for many years afterwards and in multiple amazing places. I know we performed at the ARC Theater. We also did um, a lot more um, endeavors at, with the Kennedy Center, many, many uh, Smithsonian um, events as well. Um, so through that, uh, the relationship grew um, and I was able to travel um, and become uh, kind of the entertainment for a lot of these Boys and Girls Club um, galas that would that would go on um, and I ended up meeting some incredible people uh, I met amazing people like Ruben Studdard or Fantasia or Ron Howard um, and Ashanti but I'm gonna say the most <laughs> the most impressionable person um, that I experienced was Denzel Washington now he um, he was the uh, the speaker at a, at a few of the events that I was the entertainment for, um, and just the, the the humility that he has and the kindness that he has, and he's just extremely down to earth. And you can see here that I was completely starstruck <laughs> twice. <laughs> um, so amongst those opportunities that spawned from my relationship with Tony Small and the Boys and Girls Club and Tap, um, I was also given the opportunity to the Hank Aaron um, Chasing the Dream. Um, award. Um, Hank Aaron was um, an amazing man in person and on the field, as we all know. Um, I had the opportunity to meet him and his wife, Billy, and share some gumbo and okra with him in New Orleans. Um, and because of the Boys and Girls Club, that is an opportunity that I now have and a memory that I can now treasure. Um, so the second musical that I was a part of with Tony was um, called Ruka. Now, Ruka was more STEM related, more um, scientifically educational related, but but it definitely wasn't lacking in talent and in fun and in enthusiasm. Um, I played a ladybug uh, called Lady Ame, um, and we did that, the final performance, um, my after my freshman year of college. Uh, we got to perform that on a big stage in um, the Kennedy Center, um, as well as multiple uh, variants of the Kennedy Center stages and other performances and, and selections afterwards. Soon to be Moniz, a monarch butterfly after I emerge from my chrysalis. Well, glad to meet you, Caprice. My name is Lady Ame Coleopra. Soon to be a... Soon to graduate from the Royal Insectian Academy to be a... Insectian Academy graduate. Whether you were going to emerge or not, the next time you're teased, remember this. performance um, before COVID hit us um, was actually because of Mr. Tony Small. I got to reunite with some of my favorite <laughs> um, TAP teachers and, and, and TAP students and we performed um, a selection of various holiday songs, um, one of which I got to perform, which was the name of the show, um, Oh Happy Holiday Sing. Um, and it is another one of Mr. Tony Small's originals. Um, and I'm going to play a little clip of it in the rehearsal room and a little clip of it at the Kennedy Center. Oh, happy holidays! Oh, happy holidays! 
anymore and I know that I'm no longer a Boys and Girls Club member. Um, I do know that the friendships I have made here, the experiences that I have had here, have really shaped me into the person that I am today. The opportunities that have been given to me um, have all been because Tony Small approached me in the audience out of the Boys and Girls Club and if I didn't join my local club because I liked their arts that they had after school program. I do believe that you know somebody like me benefited extremely well from having the Boys and Girls Club in my life. I have my um, BFA, my Bachelor of Fine Arts in Musical Theater from the University of the Arts in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I have done a lot of shows up there. I've done a lot of equity performances up there. Um, I am currently in Charlotte, North Carolina where I've done a couple of film things, just kind of waiting for COVID to, to open up those doors again. Um, I do believe that the arts are integral to the Boys and Girls Club, especially the greater Washington area. Um, and I, and you know, especially now because the arts are in such jeopardy during COVID. I want to serve as a reminder to keep that alive and keep that passion alive and that, that the arts are life-saving and the arts are life-changing, especially to kids. So I'm going to leave you all on that note. Um, feel free to watch any more of Tony Small's videos. Um, I'm going to put a link to his YouTube in my, uh, description. Um, and then feel free to help out with the Boys and Girls Club any way you can during this time. Donate, volunteer, just reach out because I know that kids, um, firsthand, I know that kids, um, directly benefit from that.